to starting uh, an IV, you need to check the doctor's order and gather all your equipment and then go into the patient's room, identify the patient, and um, set up your equipment and then insert the IV. So let's pretend that we're doing that. I've um, gathered my IV solution and I've made sure that it's the right one. I've primed my tubing and I've got my IV starting kit and I walk into the patient's room. Hi, Ms. Swit. Hello, my name is Jennifer. I'm your nurse. Good. Let me just check your ID then. Good. I heard you were pretty good. That's good. Well, I'm glad I got you. Oh, good. Um, I'm going to be starting an IV. The doctor ordered it to give you some fluids. Mm -hmm. uh, have you ever had an IV before? Yes, I have. Um, was there any problems? No, I got pretty good veins. Okay. Is, yeah. is there one arm that I you want me to? If put you don't in? mind, since you're, I prefer the left because I'm right dominant. So. Okay. Doesn't matter to we'll you. That's good. Okay. okay, so I'm going to get my equipment ready. I'm going to put something, to, uh, a chest to protect the linen, um, and have my tourniquet, my IV catheter, and make sure that it's appropriate size for the procedure that you're doing, for the reason that you're doing the IV. Tape. Have that all ready and cut. Just put it on the side so it's ready to go. And everybody has their own taping technique. You just um, look at how the nurses how they do it and um, check the hospital policy. You want to make sure that your uh, IV tubing is close by so that you're ready to hook it up as soon as, the, as you're in and start the, start the line. Or um, have some type of T connector or sailing lock in place. You want to be sure to put your gloves on. <clears throat> Let me just take a look first, see what we've got here. You open and close your hand. There you go, and maintain a fist. So you want to take a look on the arm to see where the, the best location is. And she's got several areas here. This one's a little curvy. Can you see where you're, this one's a little, oh, that's not too deep. We don't. Um. I think this one is a, normally we want to stay away from the, the wrist, the but wrist. Um, mm -hmm. actually that's a real nice one to see. This is a very yeah. good thing. Yeah, mm -hmm. right there. Okay, we're going to mm -hmm. go for that one then. <clears throat> Just get it turned on my gloves. Make sure you know how the offsite comes off because they're all a little bit different. You want to make sure that it doesn't collapse on, on you. Close again and maintain a fist. I've already prepared my IV catheter. So I'm going to clean it off. You might want to check the hospital policy regarding how they want the IV site prepped. Okay. So you're going to put a little traction, make sure it's bevel up. about a 30 degree angle. Wait for your blood return. That didn't even hurt. Okay, there's my blood. I'm going to go ahead and advance the catheter. i do my tourniquet. Make sure my IV tubing is close by. Put pressure on it. Very nice. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and open my tubing, my uh, IV fluid. Mm -hmm. I think we 
relax your hand. Okay. Does that hurt? Mm -mm, not at all. It didn't hurt at all. You're very good. Sure, I've got it securely in there. And I'm going to take my tape. Want me to show them? Mm -hmm. Sure. Mm -hmm. And bring it across. Back. Okay. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to get my opposite. Put it over it so I'm not covering the hub. Also, when I have to change the tubing, it's not difficult. And then I'm going to secure it just a little bit better. to do this with gloves on. If the patient's really cooperative, you could take your gloves off and tape, you know, mm -hmm. uh, it, as long as you cleaned up the blood. And then just throw everything into your chucks. And uh, take another good look at it. Go ahead and date it uh, with your initials and the time. Make sure that, the, that it's running at the proper rate. And then document what you did.